What you doing, Diggle the Dreamers? You got Mathers back for another RU Showdown Live. And today, I didn't change the background because I'm lazy and I just wanted to. I just built this team and I just wanted to take it on the ladder. Uh, just basically using a bunch of stuff that I wanted to try out. Uh, this tier is pretty broken, uh, but I'm not going to let that stop me from having fun. Uh, so we got Zarooj with the Choice Scarf, uh, U-Turn, Power Whip, Darkest Lariat, Close Combat. Uh, neutralizing Gas, Weezing, because I think this thing might actually be a, somewhat of a check to uh, to uh, Conkeldur in the tier. Uh, I think Tangrowth might, rock, like Rocky Helmet, Tangrowth might actually be better, but I already used that one, so on to the next one. We got uh, Boots, Talonflame. Uh, I actually really like this thing having you know gale wings brave bird um and can come in and like knock out anything that's like setting up in front of me uh and i think that's pretty cool uh we got banded surfetch because this thing is in this tier uh there's obviously con kelder is just like destroying the usage of any other kind of fighting type in the tier right now but i'm pretty sure this thing was banned from ru prior to these drops it was rubl um <clears throat> i don't think i've even seen one on the ladder yet which is kind of crazy this thing is like i'm just trying to i'm starting to imagine which of these pokemon are going to drop to end you like next week <laughs> uh we got boots man time for defog uh especially defense or, or no kind of the more especially defensive side of the team uh as opposed to Weezing's more physically defensive but they are both more uh physically defensive maybe i should put some speed in this would that be good i don't know and then we got porygon z this thing hasn't been ru since gen 6 and i'm very excited for that it's back uh it was banned from i think even uu last gen because it got z conversion obviously with the z moves um uh, but it doesn't have that anymore so it's back it's better than ever and it's gonna click nasty plot or agility and beat the team so that's the plan uh i haven't tested this team at all I don't know why. I just I was so intimidated by RU right 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 when the drops hit that I was like scared to even make teams or battle on the ladder. Um, but after a video I did the other day, which you should check out, it became a lot more fun. And immediately I regret everything because this guy has this team. Oh my god. This is so terrifying. Um, so Talonflame will definitely be good to hold on to because it can, if the Skullabead gets out of hand, I can knock that out. If like something like the Gengar, the Haxorus starts getting out of hand, uh, it'll be good to have. Although Zarude is actually super good for that as well. And what I'm, I mean, I don't know if there's any way that I prevent this thing, the Alolan Ninetales, from getting up the veil. Oh, he said you too, in a nice little face there. Cool. So he's got, okay, I should go over his team. Because a lot of times I watch videos and I'm not actually watching, I'm just listening. So I like to say the, the opponent opposing team sometimes, in case, if I remember. Um, so that if people are listening and not watching, they can understand what I'm up against. So we've got Gengar, Alolan Ninetales, Haxorus, Conkeldur, Scolipede, and Kyurem, which is honestly like a team you could probably see in the OU tier, like even today. Okay, so he leads Gengar, which is pretty threatening, because this could easily be scarfed. Uh, I was expecting the Ninetales lead, And I think my only chance of knocking out the Nine Tails before it gets the hail up was to go for like a power whip turn one. Um, but he decided to lead Gengar. So the question is, do I risk him being Scarf and just go right for the Darkest Lariat? Or is he not Scarf? Or do I assume that he is Scarf and like go Mantine? <laughs> Which I'm not even sure is it the best play because he could always just Nasty Plot and then Sweet... Well, no, he would at least, I would lose my Mantine, basically, which honestly isn't that bad of a thing, because 
he's got a bunch of Pokemon that beat it. But it is nice to keep the defog around in case he gets that thing up, that uh, that um, that veil. I'm clicking it. Okay, big threat gone. He's not Scarf, <laughs> but he gets hail up. But he gets veil up. I should say. Okay, he doesn't get Veil up. That's pretty big. I'm going to try to go Weezing then. As he just knocks off, okay. So now he is not Guts burned, which is pretty funny. And I want a Sludge Bomb. Because I really just want to play around the Nine Tails as much as possible. And But the other idea I'm thinking of is just Will-O-Wisping. Because he could go like... Haxorus or Scolipede or something. Maybe cure him. I'm gonna go for a Sludge Bomb. Does some good damage there. He facades, which doesn't do that much. <laughs> um, I'm faster too. So let me just Strange Steam him then. Knock him out. Okay. So Weezing handled the Conkelder. Took a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but okay. And now he gets the... Wait, he's not... Snow Warning? <laughs> Uh-oh. Um, what just happened? <laughs> he forgot. That's unfortunate for my opponent. That's very unfortunate. He must have just bit quick built. <laughs> he must have built his team real quick, and just put snow cloak by accident. Oh, that's unfortunate. Um, I think this thing is honestly worth keeping around. So I'm gonna go Mantine. Wait, what? Oh right, the neutralizing gas. <laughs> wow, I'm so foolish. Put that on a t-shirt. I forgot about my own gas. Got the freeze dry, okay. <laughs> yeah, I don't see. Oh man, if I had wake woken up there, because I clicked defog specifically because I knew he was gonna set the veil. Very unfortunate for me. Um. So this, yeah, he's got the veil, and that's pretty bad. Uh, and I don't even outspeed anything <laughs> with Porygon right now. Huh. I could go for Agility Nasty Plot and see if maybe it works out for me. But he probably has... Oh yeah, Hypnosis. Wake up! Wake up! Ugh. Wake up! Come on! Maybe Weezing can... Not if he Swords Dances again. And he's still got two turns of Veil, so I doubt he dies to this. I also really like Banded First Impression for like his other Pokemon. <laughs> so I'm gonna go Porygon. Uh, Porygon seems like the least useful thing to me right now. I should wake up here, like I got Max turns to sleep of course. <laughs> Come on. I mean, he did, all he does is click Poison Jab. Like, I don't see why a Poison Jab wouldn't knock me out here. <laughs> What's taking so long? What is taking so long? Just click move. 
You're faster than me, knock me out. <laughs> There's nothing I can do. Okay. <laughs> Maybe he was fearing the scarf, but like a scarf set wouldn't even outspeed Scolipede at this range. So I do have this, thankfully. Uh, and there's no reason not to just click Brave Bird, right? Well, I guess there is a reason. I can U turn. Where's gonna go this? I don't know, man. Just dropped a Draco. A solid play. I'll just go for a knockoff. Because that'll catch this on the switch. And just double right into Bird. Poison jab, I land the will o wisp uh, and I'll roost here. I think I'll live another move. <laughs> Hopefully. It's a close one. No doubt it is a close one. from Greece. Come on, Talonflame. Just get this roost off. Live a poison jab and get this roost off. That's all I ask of you. I suppose you could also swords dance, predicting me to roost. But I think I'm in a good spot there too. Because I roost, and then even with a Swords Dance, he's not too at KOing me. And I can roost again, get my Gale Wings back. Yeah. So it all comes down to is, is he going to do 25% after being Will-O-Wisp? I don't think so, right? Because Will-O-Wisp means he's halved, and half of 46 means I live. I live on 1% and get the roost off. Hell yes. I think I just roost in, until my until the end of days. Hopefully, he doesn't poison me. Okay, I just need him to not poison me one more time. Phew. Okay, I'm back to full. Good. Good stuff. Good stuff. Kiram just kills something though, right? <laughs> no, Haxorus. He's Lumberry. Uh, I just U-turn, get a little chip damage into this. He scale shots. He gets so many dang hits. <laughs> but I have first impression, and with a defense drop, that absolutely knocks him out. So that's good. Ninetales is back. Hmm. <laughs> Yeah, gonna get the veil up. Not sure if there was anything I could have done about that. Uh, but what I can do is go back into bird. It goes for an encore. Hello. Oh, it lived. Do I live? He didn't go for the veil and he freezes me. Bro. Goes for the Encore again? Why? Is he just giving me the game for some reason? So I just go this and sack Talonflame to this and then hopefully Banded First Impression is enough. Oh my god. 
It lived, no. <laughs> GG. What a crazy freeze to win the game and he leaves without saying anything. Oh, what a terrible person. Was there any like hacks that I got versus him? I don't think so. I just played that game quite optimally. Oh, that was, I played that game perfectly. <laughs> no, I definitely made a few mistakes, I'm sure, but oh, I, like, I could not, like, that end game, how could I have done that any better? And he just got a lucky freeze, and that was all it took. Oh my god. He just, I mean, he, he all he had to do was click Veil there, and I think he won. But whatever, because if he hadn't free, frozen me there, then I knock out the nine tails, I get... Absolutely, I get more than 4% chip on this thing. Unless it's Scarf. It could be Scarf, I guess. But, moving on. Moving on. Oh my gosh. This tier is so crazy, man. Okay, so my opponent's got a, a very different team. A Thunderous, uh, Thunderous Incarnate. I don't think Thunderous Therian is not in this tier. Mian Shao, Galar Articuno, Galar Slowking. Um, Seismitoad and Umbreon. Okay. I like Porygon with an agility up. Scarf Zarude is also pretty good versus him. Unless he's Scarf Min Chao. That could be bad. But let's go. Go Slow King turn one. Will this die to two Darkest Lariats? I don't think he's one gonna want to risk it, yeah. Ooh, you know what that means? You know what that means. And I think I just click knock off here too. Because he's got two Psychic types that might want to come in on this fighting move. But he could also fear the first impression too. Okay, yeah. It makes the, the easy double into Seismitoad. I get a big chunk of damage off on that. Uh, and I suppose he could go for like a Toxic or something. But I'll go Mantine anyway. Just goes for Rocks. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm not defogging because there's an Articuno right there and that thing gets um, competitive. I'm going to double into this because it is good versus this if he decides to Toxic. Uh, and it's it can also hit the Articuno pretty hard too. I'll just U-turn as he goes Umbreon again. And I will go into Surfetched. I'm going to click Knock Off again, too. He has too many things that can resist fighting pretty well, so I think knockoff is still the play. First impression is going to be super nice versus his team. As in comes the Articuno, good night. Good night, moon. Thunderous comes in. I kind of want to knock this thing off, because I don't think he can knock me out from this range. This thing is a big threat, though. I'm actually going to go this. As he goes for a Psychic. Okay, I didn't even realize this thing could, could get that. Um, I definitely just U-turn though. As he goes Umbreon again. I could just go Weezing, but I don't want to reveal that I'm neutralizing gas yet. set up I 
go surf fetched once again and I think still click knockoff as he stays in finally to toxic me so okay he toxic instead of healing which means I just click this again and something is gonna get knocked off he has protect of course but okay so it gives me the Umbreon that's good for me Goes me in the shower. I'll go wheezing this time finally. Reveal the gas as he goes for the combat. Um, I mean, you can definitely go slow king pretty easily here. So I'm gonna go. Yeah, I'm gonna go this so I can defog my mantine so I can defog these rocks out of here because I've had enough of this damage. Uh, I guess looking could be a threat. But I get my defog off, as he does indeed go for the future site. I'm just gonna throw off an air slash as he sludge waves. So the future side is coming here. I want to go shift tree. <laughs> I actually said it. I want to go Zerud, but obviously he's just going to click the poison move. And is this thing that important to hold on to? Kind of. Because having a scarf move to hit the thunderous is quite nice. I guess I'll just fish for a burn because what else am I doing with this thing? Critical hit, that should knock me out. Um, cool. Just goes a root and click the dark move. I don't really see a reason not to. Goes hard, Mian Shao. Not bad, not bad. I'm guessing this thing has got to be Choice Scarf, but I think Weezing is a pretty safe switch regardless. Yeah. Sloking is back. Hard is a rude on the future site. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Uh, but I go this, and a knockoff is pretty free. If he wants to go to his dark resist, Mian Xiao, he can do that. The Seismic Toad probably takes a hit pretty well. It might not be too KO'd. Thunderous comes in. Oh my gosh. He also sees that he hit, can completely destroy my team. Um, but. You know what looks really good right now is Agility Porygon. But you know what also looks good is First Impression. So... I think Weezing might actually be the sackable Mon right now. Thunderbolt, that definitely knocks me out. Uh, I'll just sludge bomb if he wants to, you know, switch or something like that. Knocked off his boots. Can Porygon live a hit from this thing? Z. 
I assume it's, you know, the same spread. Thunderous. Nasty Plat. They run... Okay, Phytinium Z. Wow, what a throwback. Okay, he could have Focus Blast. That's a fair point. And I do live a Thunderbolt. Alright. Not the time. It's not the time. I think the time will be on, like, Seismitoad. But I just take this thing out. He gets a free switch. He could actually, I think... Okay, thank God. <laughs> I was gonna say, he goes Slowking and gets a Future Sight and kills something. Um, but instead, he decided to go Mian Xiao, which I am okay with. I see Stone Edges there. Double the Porygon? Wow, he actually did that. Okay. Okay. I think I may have played this incorrectly. I think it is possible. I'm gonna try it. But nope, he just sledge waves and knocks me out, so that's the game. I've lost again. <laughs> no. Unfortunate. Raybird is doing 34. Sludge Wave is doing 62. Oh my god. GG. So this team not really showing its stuff, unfortunately. <sighs> but I'm having fun. Kind of. <laughs> oh my god, this tier is so broken. Why did I queue up for this tier. Why did I do it to myself? Okay, so he's Alolan, Nine Ninetales, Haxorus, Conkeldur, Thunderous, Ta Tarakion, and Ditto. So, he's... This, this is... This is so broken. Please, are you Council? Please. Just, please ban this stuff. I know you said you'd wanted to wait till December, but please... It's so clearly broken. No one will be upset. <laughs> oh, just let me have the tear back. All right, I'm gonna go with my counter Alola Ninetales lead once again, as he actually leads this instead for some reason. So I will U-turn. Oh, does he think he's first impression? He really could be. I'm gonna go Mantine. It's like, he's gotta, I, but just looking at his team, he's gotta be the Swords Dance set. Because he's got the veil and everything. He just goes for a poison jet, what? And there's the nine tails. Should I just defog on his Aurora Veil? <laughs> the most obvious Aurora Veil of all time. Oh my god, this thing is so annoying because I can just Encore and... Um, Hypnosis and all that, and there's not really much to do about it at all. I'm gonna go hard this. As he does indeed avail again, because of course I was toxic or poisoned, so he did win that 1v1. I'll just U turn here as goes Conkelder, okay. Wheezing. There's the burn. Nice, nice, nice. I just click Strange Steam. Maybe get a confusion. Mm -hmm. 
This team is also blown back by Thunderous. As he goes Ditto. And he's not Imposter Ditto. Interesting. I'm gonna go hard. <laughs> Hard's a rude. Because I'm assuming he's gonna click. Oh. I was gonna say, I assume he clicks transform there. <laughs> but oh, because of, because oh, because of the gas. I'm just so unused to this neutralizing gas stuff. U turn there. I'll go Mantine. See, freeze dries. Cool. Poor Mantine. <laughs> Used to be a, a top tier RU pick, and now it's just throttled by everything. And like, what can I even do? What can I do versus a Veil that has three more turns? <sighs> and he, can, he could still click just Hypnosis or anything. Like, I don't know, man. I'll click Poison Jab. I guess it'll do the most damage, right? Oh, come on, man. It goes hard ditto. Interesting choice. I feel like you could just click knock off. I think it's worth it to stay in. Is he just close combats? Of course. Of course. I'm going to Weezing though, because obviously he's got to be Scarf, right? And he doesn't really switch into Strange Steam very well. Those nine tails. The one thing I didn't think he would go. It was hard thunderous as I sludge bomb. I get a poison. And I go hard into the root on the electric move. No para, no para, okay. And Darkest Lariat, get the KO. He goes Terrakion and sets up an agility or swords dance and just wins the game. It goes hard Haxorus. Oh man. I'm clicking it. I need damage. He sword stances. Yes. It goes Ditto. Oh my god, I can't believe he hasn't gotten to Rakion yet. And now I die. Now I go wheezing on the U-turn. Haxorus just to Earthquake. Do I want damage on this? Oh my god. This is so, like, I can tell that this guy isn't quite on the same level as a player. Not Nothing against him. He's probably learning the RU tier. You'd be learning the UU tier, <laughs> but I can tell this guy isn't really making the best plays. But because he has such good Pokemon, I am still like in the back, <laughs> which is just crazy. Um, I think I live. Okay, I eat it up and I hit the strange steam, which knocks him out. Cool. Prevents him from getting imposter, prevents him from setting up the hail, prevents Conkelder from being a threat oh my god okay he has the hail <laughs> so there's nothing stopping him there's nothing there's nothing but at least I knock him out at 
least I knock him out. Suppose he can go Terrakion? Decides to go Conkildur. Has the facade. I'm gonna paint split again <laughs> as he knocks off. They're just stalling out veil turns a little bit, and now I steam. Knock him out through the veil. Cool. Weezing, putting the team on its back right now. I forget, did he have clay? I don't remember. I'm just gonna try my best to will o wisp him here. <laughs> oh, that's. Oh, yes! Okay. Okay. The game is afoot. So. Scarf is a root. I can hit this thing. I also have priority Brave Bird still. But does he win with his. Okay, I need to keep my bird at health. Just so his ditto doesn't beat me. I gotta go Porygon here to bait the close combat. Just to lower his defense, just to guarantee this a little bit more. Especially since it runs out of the veil. Uh, and then I go this. I am Scarf. I click close combat. Knocks him out, and then he comes in, transforms into into this, and I have priority Brave Bird. So I have won a game in this RU tier. I could also win the speed tie. I don't. Fine. <laughs> it's also my first time using Zarud in the turn. Like I didn't use it when it was in OU. I didn't use it when it was in UU, and now I have finally used it. GG. Woo. I consider the first game a win because I only lost because he froze me. The middle game, then my opponent got me in the middle game. But this game, I got him. <laughs> okay, well, that's it for this. Uh, we'll see if I try this tier again anytime soon. But uh, until then, peace out, keep dreaming, and I'll catch you in the next one. Uh, goodbye!